Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to branch out in makeup if you're not quite a beginner but you've got the basics down but you don't quite know how to branch out. So like I said, this video isn't for total beginners. This is for the people that have the basics down. Like, you know how to put foundation on, you know the basics of bronzing, kind of contouring, you've branched out into like lip colors and stuff, but you're not quite sure how to step up your makeup game. I was in this position about, you know, almost two years ago where I like, I got the basics down, I could do a full face, it looked pretty good, but I had no idea how to go to the next level. So I'm going to be giving you five tips here in this video. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this. And if you want to see any more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so tip number one. It's going to sound kind of simple, but really, just try a new mascara. Just try a new mascara. There are so many different types of mascara. They all work differently on different eye shapes, on different eye types. If you have like extra watery eyes, if your eyes are extra dry. All of this plays into how your mascara is going to affect you. So I do have an entire little tin full of mascaras. So some recommendations that I would suggest you try out. If you can get minis in any of these, I'd really recommend that. But you can't go wrong with any of the Essence mascaras. My favorite is the Green Bottle, which is the False Lash Effect mascara. This was huge. Like it's, I didn't realize how much of an effect mascara could have until I tried this mascara out and it's only three dollars at Ulta and you can use the coupons on this like I buy backups whenever they're on sale because it's insane the wet and wild mega length this is the first mascara I ever tried that worked on my lower lashes if you've never tried mascara on your lower lashes or if you have and you've had it smudge and you've had it like run you know how bad that can be especially if you're at work or if you're going somewhere so I'd really suggest finding a mascara that works well on your lower lashes. I got this on the recommendation of the Tayla and it works, like it's budge proof. So I'd really recommend trying this one out for your lower lashes. This one is a bit of a cult classic, this is the Better Than Sex. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this one, it's a little bit too flaky and dry for me and my eyes. But it is one of the most popular mascaras, if not the most popular mascara, like, in the world. So if you could get a sample size, if you get, like, a little mini, I would suggest trying it out just to see how it works for you. And if you're feeling really adventurous, I recommend going for a colored mascara. This one is from YSL, and it's in green. It's an actual green mascara. It's a dark kind of emerald green. You can't really tell on the brush, but when you apply it to the eyes, you get just a little bit of a hint of green, and it's a, not only is it a beautiful mascara, but it's a beautiful color. So that's another hint if you want to go for something really adventurous, do like a green-based eyeshadow look and then throw on a green mascara. So tip number two is to try out different shapes for eyeshadow and eyeliner. You don't have to do the same kind of like smoky eye effect for all your mascara look or not mascara for all of your eyeshadow looks and for your eyeliner your eyeliner doesn't have to just go on your lash line if you missed my how to use white eyeliner tips video i'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards but you can use eyeliner in so many different ways you can dot it around your eyes you can do different shapes on your eyes you could if you really want to go for like an artsy look you could use mascara or not mascara why do i keep saying mascara you can use liner down further on your face you could draw little shapes on i love the way like a little heart would look right there like that's obviously not for work but if you're just doing it for fun and at the end of the day that's what makeup is for the most part it's for fun so I'd really recommend going for different eye shapes if you've never tried a halo eye try a halo eye if you've never tried like a cut crease try a cut crease that's where I started I never did a halo eye so I tried a couple of them and they looked really nice I tried a cut crease which admittedly that's a bit harder a little bit more advanced but once you actually get it down it looks beautiful and half the fun for me is in trying it's in learning looking up videos on how to do a cut crease looking up videos on halo eyes experimenting with different colors too my next tip for how to branch out is to add subtle color and we already went over one of those with the green mascara but another great way to add subtle color subtle color to your look is to try a colored or a tinted highlighter I have a couple of examples right over here. One of probably like the most well-known ones is the Moonchild palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are stunning. You have like a little green 
highlighter. This one's more pinky toned. You got some purple ones over here. This one is silver and then this one has like a blue undertone. These, if sheared out and just used with the light hand, look stunning on all skin tones. Another one from ABH that I love is from the Sugar Glow Kit and this one is Starburst. It's like a pinky one right up here. I think it looks absolutely stunning and at first glance I didn't know if this was actually going to work for my skin tone since it does look a little dark in the pan but once you pick it up on a brush I like to apply it first and then blend it out with another duo fiber stippling brush. It's beautiful. And you can either build these up or just put them on a little sheer and they'll turn up beautifully. Some great options from the drugstore because you don't always have to go high end to get a nice colored highlighter are from Wet n Wild. I made this little quad myself out of their Mega Glow highlighting powders. These two, this one is a silver highlighter. This one is called Purple Raven. It's got some pink shimmer in it. This one, I forgot the name of this one. This one is Blossom Glow. It's one of their um, permanent shades. It's a beautiful light pink. And then this one's a stark white that was also from their limited edition collection. The two right here with the skulls in them are from their limited edition what was it called? We're from their limited edition Gothographic collection. I don't know if they're still available, but the two, the silver and the Blossom Glow shade are both permanent to their collection. I'd really, really recommend the Wet n Wild formula. It's stunning. You get a whole lot of product. I've depotted mine, but they come in cute little compacts if you'd like to keep them there, but they are just a really great option for branching out into a colored highlighter. And they only run about like three or four dollars and you can find them on sale too. Another way to add subtle color to a look is with colored liner. So I have two right here. I have the Kylie Cosmetics liner in yellow. And I also have, this is actually a brow product from Kat Von D. This is her super brow in scarlet, but you could also use this as a liner. I love to wear this with minimal makeup, just a little bit of eyeshadow just to define like your crease, and then a stark red lip. I did wear this in one of my previous videos. I forgot which one it was, but I'll throw it up in the cards if I can find it. But I just did minimal makeup, a little bit of a color in my crease, threw this on as liner, and then I used the Fenty lipstick, just the red, and it looked stunning. I love just bringing in color like that. It was a nice monochromatic look. And for the Kylie liner. This is a beautiful stark yellow liner, super pigmented. Again, you don't have to use this just on your lash line. You could use this to draw designs. My favorite way to use this is actually to do a cut crease and then use this to line just the middle of the cut crease, especially if you're going for like a sunset look, that you can put this just as a little line in the middle and it looks like the sun. So if you use like orange and red shadows and then you have this in the middle, stunning stunning and you know experiment find what colors work for you i like the red and the yellow if you want to find a green one if you want to find a, another shade nyx has liners in every color under the sun you don't have to go for one of these brands but again you also don't have to go just for liner this is a brow product and it works great as a liner too so if you want to find other brow products all the kat von d ones are excellent i'd highly recommend those but also you can find brow products at the drugstore as well but i would recommend nyx and kat von d my last tip is to try out liquid eyeshadow and liquid glitters because they give you the maximum most beautiful output with minimal effort I have an entire drawer here of liquid glitters. My favorites, of course, are the Stila Glitters and Glows. I have them in quite a few shades. They make a mini set that comes with three of them. I'd recommend you pick that one up just to see if you like the formula, to see if the shades work for you. You can also find their full size at Sephora and at Ulta. Kylie Cosmetics also has a couple of liquid shadows. I have a couple of them. I really only recommend the more neutral ones because her colorful ones look a little bit patchy, don't really last as long, but the neutral like the browns and the pearls they do look stunning and they last throughout the day in the more affordable drugstore range you have the beautiful supernova shadows from ColourPop. they're about six dollars each i believe and they're almost the same as the kylie shadows they come in a range of colors they again i would recommend more neutral shades because like this blue shade looks beautifully like in the bottom but when you swatch it and when you try to put it on your eyes, it doesn't come up as pigmented and you really have to build it up. But if you build these up too much, then they crease and they crack. So you really need to go for like a nice thin layer on your eyes. And with the darker shades, you really 
kind of have to build them up. Again, you can experiment with these too. You don't have to use them all over your lid. I'm actually wearing one of the Kylie ones all over my lid today. But you don't just have to do that. You can use these as liner if you really want to get creative with big liner. I'm not sure if you could really use them as a highlighter, but you know what? It's up to you. Experiment. See what works. <laughs> That's the fun part about makeup is that you don't always have to use products for what they were intended to be used for. So those are all of my tips on how to branch out in makeup. If you're like an advanced beginner or intermediate at makeup, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!